Uber Lap is here. My uh, good friend and, and you could pretty much say brother, McPlatypus1, tagged me to do the five things for the zombie apocalypse. First item here, uh, kind of disappointed I'd see more of this from our community, but I guess the majority of it's the gun community, but I kind of think guns, knives, kind of like intertwined, but good old fashioned uh, Kukri. There's a purpose built zombie head removal tool. This knife is definitely it. And uh, it does not run out of ammunition. Definitely gonna need a sidearm. That is my, my go to sidearm for like everything. The Glock 20. Yeah, my pe some people might uh, have comments about that because it's not a, a standard, really, like most common popular round. Um, 9 millimeter, 40, 45. Same sense. Those are the rounds that people are going to clear the shelves of first when the shit hits the fan and the, the zombies break out. So I'll have a big old fresh load of 10 millimeter in any gun shop I go to. And at that point, it doesn't matter if the shit costs more. It just matters if it's there. So I, I think that's probably not really a bad choice. Might be pretty dumb logic, but it's definitely a, a whole different way to look at things. This is a, a definite uh, next one here. Be a, a definite uh, go-to empty chamber there. The uh, Glock's empty, by the way. But uh, anyway, 12-gauge shotgun. It's a Winchester Model 1300 turkey gun, so it's a little little shorter barrel. Uh, could could use an extension on a tube or something for, for zombie hunting, but they get up and close and personal. That that would pop some zombie heads for sure. Definitely, I don't think it's the worst choice. It might not be the best choice, but not the worst. And I got it sitting here, so it would work better than something I don't have. Now this next one, I'm going to take into consideration. I'm going to be with my very good friends and family. Uh, grouped together trying to survive as like a team and there'll be umpteen numbers of AR-15s and AK-47s and all that shit not to mention anybody's familiar with McPlatypus One's channel uh, belt fed guns so suppressive fire for, for large amounts of you know zombies coming at you that that part would be taken care of and since we're list, limited to five items which I don't care who you are you're gonna have more than five items so I'm kinda taking this as like your five main tools of battle you'll use in in the zombie apocalypse so this next one I, I don't really see much uh, about this particular rifle uh, in, in anybody's channel Frodo has a similar. No, Frodo has one of these. Uh, the one I have is a carbine model. His is a uh, Frodo's is 243, if I think correct. But it's the uh, Remington 7600 pump action. It's a 30 out six Leopold three by nine on it. Real clear optics. Uh, carbine, so it's got the uh, shorter barrel on it. It's got the pump forward. You can see that. So, a little less shit to get hung up, a little bit lighter, highly accurate, floated barrel. It's not semi, there's no gas, there's no fluctuation in, in the pressure, per, you know, propelling the bullet. Uh, way underrated in, in the high accuracy of these rifles. Um, I really wouldn't want a bolt action. You don't know how much, you know, how much you're going to be hunkered down or, or whatnot. And you're going to be on the move a lot. You know, going to scavenge for, for food and, and items and ammo and whatever. And, uh, you know, there'd be a lot of times uh, I'd have my buddies who'd have their ARs and AKs and whatever and whatnots uh, blasting off a lot of things. I wouldn't be all hunkered down sniper style with a bipod or bench rested, none of that bullshit. I'm going to have to be standing freehand and, and have to pop stuff at a good distance, you know, even if it's 100 yards away or I think you do that stuff with the ARs, but. 100 yards, 300 yards away, whatever. That's got the knockdown power. It's going to take it out. 30 out six ain't no joke. And uh, you know, just just like the just like the uh, shotgun here, I get up in position with my hand on it. You know, just 
bam, 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 bam. Right like that, right through a scope, highly accurate. You know, as accurate as I can hold the crosshairs on, you know, another shell's racked into it, ready to go, magazine fed. So I think that's pretty, pretty much a, a hell of a good choice. And that rifle, I know really, that's my, that's my deer rifle. And I've been shooting it since I'm, a, since I was uh, 11 years old. Same exact, that very rifle. So very familiar with it. And I can shoot it extremely well. Now the next one, uh, and I wouldn't, uh, kind of got a disclaimer. I wouldn't advocate shooting firearms and drinking, but. We're talking the end of the world, and everything's going to shit, so I'm going to need a drink. And if you ask McPlatypus1, he says that I drink more than Blackbeard and Calico Jack combined. So, I'm going to have to grab me a couple of half gallons of uh, rum, preferably Bacardi. If not, whatever rum I can find available, but I would uh, just grab, at least have what I have on hand to, to start and pick up what I can along the way. So I guess that would be like my five main major items for the tag here. Uh, I would have did this video earlier. I'm not sure of who to tag right now because everybody I thought of tagging has been tagged by somebody else. So I'll put that in the description and let them know. And they're probably not missing out because anybody I tag probably has five to fifty times the subs I do. So I, they're not really going to be missing out on a shout out from me from not tagging them in the video while I'm speaking so that's pretty much it there you go